across the titles is same ang basics to remember kapag nasa Elite Four. Be sure that your Pokemons are strong enough. The weakest Pokemon on this stage is level 49, and the highest is level 62. Employ variety. This is to make use of the canceling method of the game. For example, fire types are of course weak against water, while fighting ones are pushovers naman against psychics. Common sense na lang, diba? The first trainer is Aeron, who uses bug Pokemons with flying, steel, and poison attributes. Flying types will sweep nearly all his Pokemons, though you'll need a big time attacker to deal with his final alaga, na si Drapion. Best bet dito ay isang fire type. Next is Bertha and her ground and rock Pokemons. Grass, water, and ice attacks will do good against this group. Ingat lang sa earthquake skills ng mga alaga ni Bertha dahil sa malaking damage na binibigay nito. Fury Flint comes next. He uses purely fire Pokemons, kaya naman a water Pokemon can handle them all. Tataas ang level ng difficulty pagdating kay Lucian and his psychic Pokemons. Kasi naman, uber lakas ng mga attacks nito. To deal with these, you also need a psychic Pokemon. Or best, a Pokemon with an overwhelming attack. Tulad ni Giratina, kung nakuha mo siya kaagad. After mo ma-dispatch, you will now meet the champ, Cynthia. Eto, sobrang complex. Grabe ang lineup ni Champ dahil lahat ng type ay meron ng kanyang anim na pambato. Kaya naman dito pumapasok ang pagkakaroon ng high level at varied sa roster mo para naman maka-match up ka kaagad. Lastly, always have lots of revive, HP, and PP potions para kompleto parati ang team mo. After mo matalo si Cynthia, ay mapapasok ka at yung mga Pokemon mo sa Hall of Fame. Astig, di ba? Kaya huwag kayong magsasawa. Keep catching those Pokemons.